Welcome to ReneeEnergy.com on YouTube, the hub for all things renewable energy and sustainability. Our channel is dedicated to bringing you the latest innovations and insights in green energy, including cutting-edge developments like green hydrogen. Whether you're a sustainability veteran or just beginning your journey, we have something for everyone. Join us on this channel to explore inspiring projects for a sustainable tomorrow. We bring you the latest in renewable energy, sustainability, and cutting-edge technologies. And don't forget, for more in-depth information and resources, visit our website and subscribe to our newsletter for the latest updates and exclusive content. Recent geophysical research has revealed the presence of a vast water reservoir approximately 700 kilometers beneath Earth's surface, within the mantle transition zone. This water is not in liquid form but is trapped within high-pressure minerals such as ringwoodite and wadsleyite. These minerals can incorporate hydroxyl, O- groups into their crystal structures, effectively storing significant amounts of water under extreme heat and pressure. This discovery challenges traditional views of Earth's hydrological cycle, as it suggests that a substantial portion of the planet's water is hidden deep within its interior, locked away for millions or even billions of years. The implications of this go beyond geology and mineralogy, extending into our understanding of Earth's evolution, climate stability, and even the origin of water on the planet. In addition to water, studies suggest that this region of the mantle may also be a natural source of molecular hydrogen. Hydrogen production at these depths occurs through geochemical reactions involving water, iron-rich minerals, and extreme heat and pressure conditions. This process, similar to serpentinization in the oceanic crust, could mean that Earth's mantle acts as a continuous, deep source hydrogen generator. Hydrogen is one of the most abundant and energy-rich elements in the universe, and its presence within the Earth in large quantities raises new questions about its role in sustaining geological and possibly even biological processes deep below the surface. If confirmed, the existence of a deep hydrogen cycle could redefine the planet's long-term carbon and water cycles, influencing atmospheric composition and geodynamic processes over geologic timescales. Hydrogen formation in Earth's mantle is primarily driven by high-pressure reactions between water and ultramorphic rocks such as peridotite. When water interacts with ferrous iron in high-pressure conditions, it can lead to the formation of hydrogen gas and ferric iron. High temperatures cause certain mantle materials to break down, releasing free hydrogen as part of their chemical transformation. Serpentinization, a process known to occur in the oceanic crust, may also happen at much greater depths in the mantle, where reactions between olivine-rich rocks and infiltrated water produce hydrogen gas. Some of this hydrogen is likely stored within the mineral structures, while some may escape over time through fractures and faults in the lithosphere, eventually reaching the surface in the form of natural hydrogen seeps. The idea that the planet may be continually producing hydrogen at depth, rather than relying solely on fossil hydrogen sources from ancient organic material, is a radical departure from conventional thinking and could have profound implications for energy production in the future. Hydrogen from these deep geochemical processes can remain trapped within the mantle, dissolved in high-pressure water, or gradually migrate toward the surface through faults and natural seeps. This has led to speculation that Earth's hydrogen cycle extends far deeper than previously understood. If mantle hydrogen slowly escapes to the surface over geologic time, it may contribute to the presence of naturally occurring hydrogen gas fields, some of which have already been discovered in locations such as Mali, Russia, and the United States. These naturally occurring hydrogen reserves, sometimes referred to as white hydrogen or gold hydrogen, could provide a new, cleaner energy source that does not require energy-intensive industrial production methods like methane reforming or water electrolysis. However, the rate at which hydrogen migrates from the deep mantle to the crust is still poorly understood, and further research is needed to determine whether these reserves can be commercially viable on a large scale. The mantle transition zone, located between 410 and 660 kilometers below Earth's surface, plays a critical role in planetary water circulation. Research based on seismic wave studies and mineral physics experiments suggests that this zone may contain as much water as all of Earth's surface oceans combined, stored in its mineral structures. This vast underground water reservoir may act as a buffer that regulates water exchange between the deep Earth and the surface. Water is carried into the mantle through subduction, where oceanic plates sink beneath continental plates and transport water-rich minerals into the depths. Over time, this water can be released back into the upper mantle, fueling volcanic activity and influencing the formation of new crust. The discovery of deep earth water reservoirs challenges long-standing assumptions about the origin of Earth's surface water, raising the possibility that much of it may have been sourced from within the planet rather than delivered by comets and asteroids during the early solar system's formation.
This deep water is recycled through subduction zones, where oceanic plates carry surface water deep into the mantle. At these depths, high temperatures and pressures cause water-bearing minerals to undergo phase transitions, releasing hydrogen and oxygen in the process. These elements may contribute to the formation of deep earth hydrogen reservoirs. Additionally, the presence of water in the mantle transition zone affects the viscosity of the mantle, altering the dynamics of mantle convection and plate tectonics. The presence of hydrogen at these depths could also influence the oxidation state of the mantle, affecting the types of volcanic gases that are released into the atmosphere and potentially playing a role in long-term climate regulation. The interaction between water, mantle minerals, and extreme pressure conditions suggests that Earth's deep hydrogen cycle is part of a much larger system, influencing volcanism, plate tectonics, and even atmospheric chemistry over geological timescales. While much remains unknown about the extent and behavior of deep earth hydrogen, its potential importance as a driver of geological and geochemical processes is increasingly recognized by researchers. The study of deep hydrogen could also have implications for planetary science beyond Earth. Similar geochemical processes may be occurring on rocky exoplanets and moons, raising the possibility that deep subsurface hydrogen could play a role in shaping planetary environments and even sustaining microbial life in otherwise extreme conditions. The discovery of deep earth hydrogen raises scientific and industrial questions about whether this resource could be extracted for use as a clean energy source. While most hydrogen energy strategies today focus on electrolysis or methane reforming, natural hydrogen deposits, sometimes called gold hydrogen are now being considered as a viable alternative. If hydrogen can be extracted directly from the Earth's subsurface without the need for energy-intensive production methods, it could provide an abundant and renewable fuel source with minimal environmental impact. However, the potential risks of large-scale hydrogen extraction remain a major concern. Disturbing deep geological systems could have unintended consequences, including destabilizing mantle convection, altering the behavior of subduction zones, or triggering increased seismic activity. Extreme depth and pressure make direct drilling into the mantle transition zone nearly impossible with current technology. The geochemical balance of deep earth processes suggests that hydrogen extraction on a large scale could disrupt natural systems, potentially affecting mantle convection and plate tectonics. Surface hydrogen seeps provide a more accessible alternative, as small amounts of naturally occurring hydrogen have already been detected in continental crust fractures and deep-sea hydrothermal vents. Recent research has focused on identifying natural hydrogen seeps and reservoirs closer to the surface, where extraction could be more feasible and sustainable without interfering with deep earth dynamics. Understanding Earth's deep hydrogen cycle not only has implications for energy production but also for planetary science and astrobiology. If hydrogen is naturally produced in Earth's mantle, similar processes may occur on rocky exoplanets and moons, influencing their potential for habitability. The ability of deep Earth processes to sustain an ongoing cycle of hydrogen production suggests that planets with active mantles may be more likely to maintain long-term geological stability and surface water, two key factors for life as we know it. Future hydrogen energy strategies are likely to focus on large-scale production of green hydrogen from solar, wind, and hydroelectric power without reliance on fossil fuels. Geological hydrogen exploration may provide an additional energy source by mapping natural hydrogen seeps for low-impact extraction. Solid-state hydrogen storage is another promising avenue, as researchers are exploring new high-density hydrogen storage materials inspired by mantle mineral structures for safe and efficient energy transport. Advances in seismic imaging, high-pressure mineral physics, and deep earth geochemistry will continue to refine our understanding of subterranean hydrogen processes. While direct extraction of deep mantle hydrogen remains a technological and ethical challenge, Earth's hidden hydrogen reservoirs represent a fundamental shift in how we view the planet's internal energy dynamics and the future of clean fuel sources. The study of hydrogen at great depths is only beginning, and continued exploration of Earth's deep interior may reveal even more unexpected sources of energy that could shape the next era of scientific and technological progress. Thanks for tuning into the ReneEnergy.com YouTube channel. We trust you found this episode enlightening and motivating. There's a world of innovation and opportunity in sustainable energy, and we're delighted to share this journey with you. Stay in the loop with the latest on renewable energy and sustainability by visiting our website and subscribing to our newsletter. Your support is immensely appreciated, it's truly invaluable to us. Don't miss our next video on new trends in renewable energy. Follow us on social media for the latest updates. Enjoy the video? Like, subscribe, and share for more green insights. Thanks for watching.